So we talk about this digital madness that we live in all the time. We never stop looking at our phones. The second I shut off my phone, I go to my iPad. The second I shut that thing, I open up my computer. And then I'm watching a screen on TV and all that. Uh, but Facebook has now come out with something that's even going to take us deeper into this rabbit hole. Uh, they are announcing that you can have a legacy contact to control your Facebook page after you die. That's right. So uh, ah. basically, it, remembering April Myers. So this is what April oh. Myers' page looked like before she died. And then someone else can take control of it. Uh, so there's a lot of interesting things I think this brings up. And then here you see. Uh, so you'll be able to pick somebody to do it. They can either respond to people. They can post things. They can update your profile picture, Let me et, cetera, see. et cetera, et cetera. And we've got, we've got some info real quick. Oh, good. The Legacy Contact can download an archive of the person's photos, posts, and private information, but will not be able to see their private messages. That was profile information. Uh, Legacy Contact still can't delete embarrassing photos, edit posts that the deceased wrote, or delete the account entirely. This is because being able to curate the person's page might add an extra emotional load to grieving. So real quick, uh, I had a friend, a good friend, uh, younger than me, who died out of nowhere in a car accident. And over the course of the couple days after he died, th that was one of the major things that everybody was talking about. How to get his password for his Facebook page, even just to let people know that he died, then who is gonna manage it, all this. So this, there is some need for this as kind of creepy as it sounds, I guess. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. I, it doesn't seem like a real thing. I mean, it seems like a real thing people could do. It doesn't seem like a thing Facebook needs to get involved in. I guess, though, having a, you know, it's like an emergency contact, but it's like a serious emergency. <laughs> the yeah, the biggest like the, emergency. The biggest emergency there is. Uh, that graphic you had before the last one mm -hmm. uh, just made me think of my dad who died. In, uh, but, like, it reminded me, my dad died in October, but one thing that he was insistent about, he didn't, we didn't know he was dying, uh, yeah. but he was, uh, uh, he hated the term pass away. Like nobody passes away. You die. You like drop. don't let's not you're dead. Yeah. You're, uh uh so that little sort of nuance of language was uh we should probably avoid. But I mean I guess it's good. You know, people seem to be doing it anyway. You see a lot of, you know, when somebody famous dies and you check their and I'll read they were on Twitter just the day before and I'll check their Twitter account and still there. Yeah. You know. Uh and I guess this is something that Twitter would be different. I suppose, but you could, Twitter might want to do that as well. Right, so I know that uh, Melissa Rivers, for example, didn't have Joan Rivers' password, so for months they couldn't get in. I don't know what happened, that Twitter wasn't helping mm -hmm. them. Then somehow they finally got in. Now she's kind of promoting her own stuff, which seems a little exactly how they lived, I suppose. Yeah, uh, right, yeah, I mean, they lived publicly, and you know, you get, they, everybody gets to make their own, they, every family gets to make their own decision, and you know, like, I don't know Joan Rivers personally, but don't you suspect that Joan would have she said, would, Melissa, if you can promote your own stuff from my Twitter page after I'm gone, right. go, it's, go, it's go. It's actually the greatest right. honor that's of right. her that's legacy. Right. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, what do you make of this thing? I just want to know what happened to April. Why did she die? She was so young. <laughs> yeah. She was so young. She had such her whole life ahead of her. I don't that's think you should I make jokes. Say. I think you yeah. should be looking at, uh, you should be worrying about what Facebook, uh, uh, if you could appoint a legacy contact for when your career dies. Boom! Whoa! Hey, hey. There you go. Boom! We should actually stop the recording and do that right now. I'll, get, I'll be I'll yours. Get our, I'll get our senior Halls guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the, the perverse part of this does seem to me that we can't stop with all this technology stuff, right? We keep talking about it. We know people are spying on us, all this other stuff. And yet now we're even worried about after death. What does that say about human? Like, we never want to let go of what we got here, huh? Yeah, I couldn't give a shit of what happened to my Facebook page after I die. Yeah, yeah you just don't care. care. Just could not care less. I don't think I'm going to care about anything when I'm dead. But what yeah. about, don't you want the Jimmy Dore fans <laughs> for, to be... I don't give a be, fuck. You just I'm don't. dead. Yeah. I don't give a what my fans do, my leg. It's all bullshit. That's all ego while you're alive. When you're dead, you don't have an ego anymore. You just have a soul, so you don't give a fuck. Yeah. All right, there we go. Jimmy Dore believes in souls. I can't believe it. What do you think? Uh, are you going to have a legacy contact when you're dead and you're, you want to keep your Facebook page going? Let us know in the comments right down below.